It's the half of me. Ooh, it's the half of me. Uh, it's the half of me. It's the half of me. my channel i am diva cms in case you don't already know and in today's tutorial by the title already you see that we're going to be making this beautiful wig i have on we're going to be making it from scratch if that sounds like something you're interested in if that sounds like something you want to learn then make sure to keep on watching this video love you Mwah. So lovelies, I'm just going to be telling you what you're going to be needing for this week. I'm going to be using this crochet cap. This is the one I actually recommend. They're not any other type. Because if you go in and use this stretchy one, it's just going to later compress and that will not be a nice look. So this is the lace net or the closure net I'm going to be using. You can actually also go ahead to use this type, which is just a lace yard. All right, you could get this or you could get the closure net but for today's tutorial i'm going to be using the closure net so this is like not my skin tone but you can be corrected with foundation both of them this is a bit stretchier than the other one so also i'm going to be needing my crochet pin you could also use a crochet pin or a ventilating needle the gold one is ventilating needle then the silver is the crochet pin this is what the ventilating needle look like why the crochet pin is the silver one this crochet pin i have also have extra hooks in it which differs in size all right so to our main components of this week are uh, braiding hair the braiding i'm going to be using today is from one and co all right i'm going to link everything i use in the description box down below so you can check it out all right this hair is called a bone straight braiding hair immediately i saw it i knew i'm going to use it for this tutorial you can also use an expression for everything i'm going to be saying you can use an expression attachment also it works just fine so i'm just going to be placing my net on my mannequin head all right i'm just going to place that down and then i'm going to pin it on the four sides which is very important for you to lay flat and for you to be able to walk well So after laying that down, I'm just going to lay down my closure net. This is a bit tricky, not tricky though, but you want this to be as flat as possible. So you want to take your time. I actually went in a number of times to actually make sure this was laid well and flat. So just make sure you take your time for it to be flat and for it to be well laid. This will help your wig actually stay in place and look flat on your head you don't want any bumps all right so just take your time you can actually come back to it when you're done crocheting the rest part of your wig so what i found that helps is you just pin it little by little and then it will lay more flat so extra pins are needed to hold it more securely that's what i found out works perfectly to be able to hold it down like this So I'm just showing you where I got the braiding extension from or the braiding hair from. So I'm just going to go right into the tutorial. So you have your extension. You do not want to hold everything in your hand because it's just going to, mostly when you're a beginner, it's not just going to work very well. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just going to divide little by little and take into my hands and just walk as you're seeing me. If you're a beginner, beginner, I advise that you take little by little and just crochet in instead of doing it this way and having everything on your fingertip so if you're a beginner and you're just starting out i advise you remove it one after the other and crochet until you get the hang of it because definitely you'll get the hang of it if you can see right now i'm actually being a bit slow but because i've not crocheted for a very long time but over time, over time doing it, I actually got faster. So this is what I was talking about, just singling it out if you're a beginner and just taking it out of the braiding air and just fixing it. 
it's way easier doing might take more time but it's way easier to be honest so guys standing up and doing this wasn't working for me so i sat down and brought you guys to a whole new angle so you see how i actually work with it you can see i've actually gone quite far and with time i actually just got faster what i was doing like i said so the only thing i'm doing is basically just taking my crochet needle and passing it through the net and also taking a bit of braiding hair I hope that is clear. I think this video is very explanatory, but I'm just kind of saying anything that's not well explained or any details uh, that you need to know, basically. So guys, this is how I actually laid down my closure net it's not necessary if you're beginning you could just go ahead and just sew it down but this is what i just i was trying out the method all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create my center part because what i want to do is a center part you can go ahead to do whatever pattern you want so this is a four inch wide closure so i'm just marking it in the middle which is a two and then i'm just going to trace it down it's not necessary it just helps me because like i just want to know it's perfect like it's right in the middle so it's totally not necessary if you can eyeball it then it's fine so basically i just take a huge chunk not a very huge chunk right but like i take a bigger knot and then i just put it through the net and the closure net so through the wig cap and the closure net then i just kind of close it down together but even as i did this method honestly i still went ahead to use my needle to tack it right because i just can't like my mind couldn't just do all of this so it's very important that if you do this to just go ahead and use a needle and thread just tack it at different places all right so why this is looking a bit hard is because i'm using a smaller size on needle all right so you could i forgot to change the needle to the bigger size so at least i changed it which you'll see so guys i've changed to the bigger needle right now so you can see it's like a bit easier to take in and to put in and you know crochet basically so you know that the crochet pin comes with three different hooks so now i'm going to the closure i'm just going to change it to the other hook to the smaller hook so as to avoid tearing the closure net because the holes are very small and the closure net is very fragile basically so you want to take your time with this for the hair i'm taking i'm taking three to one to actually five one to five or one to six anything more than six is too much for your closure but there's really no biggie just make sure that whenever you're getting to the front like the number decreases and whenever you're getting to the middle part the number decreases basically so that you have that very nice looking plucked kind of you know closure if that's what you're into because i think that's what i'm into so the only thing i did was i kept crocheting until i got to the middle part and for the middle part i just left only two lines that's what created my center part basically so that's really it for the closure guys so now we're going to get into styling the wig So guys, this is what it's looking like when we finish, but we want that very slick down look. So we're just going to go in and straighten and treat it so it has the flat look. So the first thing I do is I go in with my hand dryer, which is totally not necessary, but I really just wanted to untangle it since I just finished it. So you want your straightener to be at the lowest heat possible, all right, because you don't want to get 
you don't want to damage the hair so i'm just going to go right ahead to part the hair and then the only thing i do is i part i brush i cut down with my blade this will help not this will help for it not to be so blunt because i do not i did not want that very blunt cut if you want the blunt cut if that's what you're into then that's totally fine but i do not like a blunt cut so if you have if you want a blunt cut you could just go in with a scissors and just cut directly at the tip but for me i found out that um, feathering it out actually is what i like so that's what i went with so basically i'm just going to straighten for straightening there's really no big deal with straightening you just need your take home and your straightener so this is how i straighten so the first thing i do is i actually also pluck out flyaways that i have all right you just pluck it out or you stretch it down to the end because you don't want the hair to have a lot of flyaways it's going to have some but you don't want it to be a lot so if you can catch it early it's better to pluck it out so i'm just going to continue straightening it and continue making sure it's sleek i'm going to divide every part little by little this is going to tangle up a bit when you're doing this but i just advise you actually just take your time and do it because it's going to come out amazing trust me so just take your time and make sure you straighten every bit so this is me almost done all right so i'm just going to go once ahead with the process i do to make sure this hair is very straight so the first thing i do is i comb it and after combing it i go in with the razor blade and then just i make sure i measure it yeah measuring it is very important you don't just take it and cut it you make sure you measure it with the rest and then you cut it down and then you go ahead to straighten that part you cut down So lovely, we're actually done with the hair. This is the last process we're going to be doing on it to make it sleek, all right? So you can see the difference right now. Like, look at this hair, guys. Like, when I was done straightening it, the texture blew me away. Like, it was super sleek. I thought it was going to be heavy, but it turned out quite amazing. The next thing I'm going to do is just cut off that wig cap. You know, we've not cut it out since. So I'm just going to do that right now. So there's a possibility that you could have mistakenly cut or you'd have mistakenly crocheted your hair on the wig cap but no worries you just cut the wig cap instead instead of cutting the hair you crocheted on it if that makes any sense i'm going to do it i'm going to show you just cut the wig cap instead all right and that's it lovelies that's how you get this amazing wig so i'm going to try it on for you guys to see all right so please we're done with the wig right now and then i'm just going to try it out for you as usual so the only thing i've done is just to put powder on the closure and i'm just going to put it on after putting it on the next thing i'm just going to do or the next thing you should do is actually take your pair of scissors and just kind of cut the excess lace out um, you don't want to cut this in a straight pattern you want to cut it like zigzag in a way if that makes any sense all right so let's do that that's the end of this tutorial i really love the outcome of it actually like i'm really impressed all right if this is something you're going to be trying out let me know in the comment section and also let me know if you have any question in the comment section i'll get right into it so this is the length i thought it wouldn't be right for me not to show you the length of the hair I trimmed a lot this is the length of the hair 
it's really nice if you ask me i'm really comfortable with this length if you want it longer you can go longer but i'm fine with my length the only thing i would have done differently was not use the pencil i used the white pencil i used i shouldn't have used it but that was the only option i had so if you could get a chalk or maybe get a sharpie that would work perfectly for you because this is going to take a long time to come off but that doesn't really matter all right i could just apply more foundation and foundation to the middle but i didn't want to do that right now so guys that's really it for this tutorial I mean, if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to this channel all right for more goodies like this and also yeah hit that notification bell at the side so lovelies you know that if you watched in the end of this tutorial you already know you're the what you're the real mvp thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in my next week tutorial Bye.